Well, we know that these are tough times at local public schools. Some districts faced with massive budget cuts have been forced to either lay off teachers or cut programs or both. But at the same time, the I-Team's Jim Osman has uncovered some local school superintendents who are getting six-figure salaries, free cars, and expensive trips. We're asking our children to make sacrifices for their future. Upset parents, frustrated students, tempers boiling over because of massive education cuts in New Jersey. Taxpayers are angry, and now what we're uncovering may make them even more mad. It's outrageous what we pay. Yeah, that's a little upsetting. These are the faces of sacrifice. Anthony is a fourth grader who took it hard when he heard the news. I felt kind of upset because then I wouldn't get to play anymore. School budget cuts wiped out his Medford School's music program, upsetting mom and son. It's sad. It's very sad. At a time like this, the I-Team decided to request contracts for school superintendents in 15 districts to see how they're compensated, including Cherry Hill, where they've cut 45 teachers, sports, and music programs. Do you think that the public at a time like this looks and says, well, why does this guy make in excess of $200,000. Superintendent Dr. David Campbell's salary is $277,392 a year. The state's superintendent average is $160,000 a year. His experience and work ethic, he says, justify the pay. It's a 24-7, 365 job. Most superintendents I know have a, a, an average work week of 60 hours, and 70 to 80 hours is not uncommon. Since 2007, Dr. Campbell has been reimbursed more than $23,000 for expenses, including since June 2006, a total of $15,000 in payments for a monthly car allowance. And then there are the trips. The travel. Is it necessary to go to these conferences? 1600 of your tax dollars paid for Dr. Campbell to go to a five-day conference in Florida, covering airfare, hotel. We even found a meal receipt at the Capitol Grill in Orlando. We found another $1,900 tab for a conference trip to New Orleans. The superintendent says the conferences are continuing education. To me, our goal for young people is to be a lifelong learner, and I think the superintendent should be the poster child for lifelong learning. In Washington Township, education cuts have hit hard as well. We lost about 93 positions. Some of them were, they, they ranged from administrators to supervisors to uh, gifted and talented teachers, elementary teachers. Superintendent Dr. Cheryl Simone makes $182,000 per year. And she gets a $300 monthly car allowance for traveling the district. Plus, she has spent about $10,000 since 2005 on conference trips. You're a target. Oh, I'm definitely a target. But, and so is all the administrators, but I don't think it's just Washington Township. I think that's across the board. Simone agreed to a pay freeze and will forgo an upcoming $5,000 raise she was owed to share in the sacrifice. Thanks. Ken Hartman, a former Cherry Hill school board member, says parents need to become involved at a time like this. It is not only their, their right, but their responsibility to ask the difficult questions. Like why some school boards are giving superintendents unbelievable contracts in tough economic times. CBS 3 from out of state. Yep. In Medford, take Dr. Joseph Del Rossi's contract. If he accrues enough unused sick and vacation time, he could get a $280,000 payout when he leaves the district. In the Lenape High School District, Emily Capella received a 15% raise since 2008 and now makes $213,000 a year. Plus, she receives an additional $12,000 a year stipend to pay for expenses. The district gives her a car and a computer for use at home. And she doesn't have her doctorate degree, unlike the other administrators in this story. The Medford and Lenape superintendents refused to do on-camera interviews, even when we showed up in person. But some taxpayers say they don't need to hear any more. They've heard enough. It has to stop. Some school superintendents say the market dictates their salaries. Now, the New Jersey Education Department has put regulations in place trimming some of the perks. That means for Dr. Campbell and Cherry Hill, there's no more car allowance. He'll be reimbursed for mileage instead. We also found out in the course of our investigation, two school superintendents in Bridgeton and Lower Township have stepped forward and have agreed in the name of sacrifice to take massive pay cuts. And you should go to our website at cbs3.com, click on I-Team Investigations. If you want to see school superintendent salaries in New Jersey, click on there. You'll find out for your local school district. Mm. Okay, well done. Keep on it. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks.